Today is who the thought comes from the 16th chapter of Romans, verse 17 and 18, which reads, Now I urge you, brethren, note those who cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you learned, and avoid them. For those who are such do not serve our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly, and by smooth words and flattering speech deceive the hearts of the simple. In his letter to the church in Rome, Paul, he sought to strengthen and encourage the believers in the church to keep maturing, to keep growing in their faith. He spoke to the fact that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of the Lord, but thanks to Christ, we all have a Redeemer that has reconciled the sincere believer to the Lord. He then continued to encourage the sincere believer to grow in love and to learn to live peaceably with all men. Then in this letter, we see here today where Paul said to note, to be on watch for those who cause divisions and works that are contrary to the doctrine of God. The doctrine of God calls on us to love. As love is where our strength, that's where it lays. In love there is uplifting, in love there is elevating, in love there is progress. God's desire for all of us, for all of mankind, is for us to be fruitful and multiply. God, he desires for us to elevate each other, for us to progress. You know what works against being fruitful? What works against multiplying? What works against progress? Divisions. One of, if not the worst thing that man has allowed to persist throughout time is the dividing heart and the dividing tongue. With division has come all kinds of evils, for example, oppression and even wars. We must not ever take lightly those who work, those who seek to divide. As Paul said, dividers are serving no one but themselves. So let all of us who are of sincere faith today, let us make sure that we are always moving in a manner of love, that is to elevate, and to uplift all of those that are around us, and then let us avoid those who do nothing but work to cause divisions. I hope my thought for today has given you something to think about, and I hope that it will encourage you, that it will uplift you, and that it will motivate you as well. Be sure that you share this thought with someone somewhere, and if you haven't already done so, make sure that you're following this channel so that you can always receive my next Food for Thought.